Numbers 30, verse 1, the law concerning vows. Then Moses spoke to the heads of the tribes concerning the children of Israel, saying, This is the thing which the Lord has commanded. If a man makes a vow to the Lord, or swears an oath to bind himself by some agreement, he shall not break his word. He shall do according to all that proceeds out of his mouth. Or if a woman makes a vow to the Lord, and binds herself by some agreement, while in her father's house and her youth, and her father hears her vow, and the agreement by which she has bound herself, and her father holds his peace, then all her vows shall stand, and every agreement with which she has bound herself shall stand. But if her father overrules her on the next day that he hears, then none of her vows nor her agreements by which she has bound herself shall stand, and the Lord will release her, because her father overruled her. If indeed she takes a husband while bound by her vows or by a rash utterance from her lips by which she bound herself, and her husband hears it and makes no response to her on the day that he hears, then her vows shall stand and her agreements by which she bound herself shall stand. But if her husband overrules her on the day that he hears it, he shall make void her vow which she took and what she uttered with her lips by which she bound herself and the Lord will release her. Also any vow of a widow or a divorced woman by which she has bound herself shall stand against her. If she vowed in her husband's house or bound herself by an agreement with an oath, and her husband heard it and made no response to her and did not overrule her, then all her vows shall stand, and every agreement by which she bound herself shall also stand. But if her husband truly made them void on the day he heard them, then whatever proceeded from her lips concerning her vows or concerning the agreement binding her, it shall not stand. Her husband has made them void, and the Lord will, re will release her. Every vow and every binding oath to afflict her soul, her husband may confirm it, or her husband may make it void. Now if her husband makes no response, whatever, to her from day to day, then he confirms all her vows or all the agreements that bind her. He confirms them because he made no response to her on the day that he, that he heard them. But if he does make them void after he has heard them, then he shall bear her guilt. These are the statutes which the Lord commanded Moses between a man and his wife, and between a father and his daughter in her youth in her father's house.